Hello my dear friends and students, this is Nikhil and uh, today let us start our new subject Electrical and Electronic Measuring Instruments. I hope you find this series of lectures in this subject very useful for your gate exams as well as uh, or any other competitive exam as well as your semester exams. So let's begin what is this subject. Okay, so why do what, uh, what is the purpose of this subject? What is the purpose of electrical and electronic measuring instrument? We will first talk about measuring instruments. So measuring instrument is some instrument which measures some quantity. Okay, then why do we require in electrical engineering? We know that electrical engineering quantities. What is the main quantity of electrical engineering? Current. We deal with current, right? Can you see current? No. Then how do you identify how much current is there and how do you establish all these networks? because uh, you need some uh, measuring in instrument. So uh, measuring instrument is heart, it's like a heart of uh, the subject of electrical engineering. So study of electrical, uh, electronic, electrical and electronic measuring instruments is also very important as studying other subjects also. So measuring instruments, we know the instrument which measures some quantity. So here you have to find one, uh, you have to note one terminology called measurer. What do you mean by measurement? So the quantity which is under measurement or quantity which is being measured is known as measurement. To measure the measurement, we need a measuring instrument. So, so far you might have heard about various electrical measuring instruments. What are they? We have ammeters, we have voltmeters, we have wattmeters, we have power factor meters, frequency meters, so on and so forth. So, we will learn now more in deep and technically about these measuring instruments. So, measuring instruments are basically classified into two categories. The one is first one primary or absolute instruments. The other one is secondary instruments. And secondary instruments again reclassified into indicating, indicating and recording type of instruments. Let us see what is this primary or absolute instrument. Primary or absolute instruments are, are otherwise called as more standard equipments. These equipments or these measuring instruments are used in research laboratories where measurement of precise nature is of uh, pre is a requisition or required, where we require absolute value, the true value uh, of the quantity under measurement. And there we use these primary or absolute instruments. And secondary instruments are what we find in our day to day lab, day to day life, or day to day. Uh, works wherever we go, we have ammeter, voltmeter, wattmeter, everything. They all comes under secondary instruments. So, what is so different between these both things is that primary or absolute instruments they don't have a dial, they don't have a pointer moving on them. No, they, they don't directly give you or they, they don't indicate the value under being uh, value being measured. No, it is like uh, the the reading. It gives the reading in terms of meter constant. Technically saying. Primary or absolute instruments give the reading in terms of meter constant. What do you mean by meter constant? Um, in other words, I can give you an example. You might have used potentiometer in any lab of physics. So in potentiometer, do you find the value of unknown voltage or resistor directly by means of some pointer and uh, scale? No. You do different kinds of measurements. You have some formulas. You substitute the obtained values there. So based on those values, you get the value. So, potentiometer is also under primary or absolute instrument because it does not give any direct reading. But the value obtained is absolute. There is nobody who can uh, uh, doubt the value given by the absolute or primary instruments. Secondary instruments are also called as direct reading type instruments which we find in our day-to-day -day lives. So, there is no guarantee that these give the accurate value. Therefore, these primary instruments are used to calibrate the secondary instruments. Calibration means the process of finding error. So if there is an error, if you want to cross check, if there is error in secondary instrument, you got to check with the primary instrument's value because this is the absolute value. And uh, coming to the construction, the construction of these absolute or primary instruments are very complex and delicate basically, and they are very costly. And uh, we have to handle with care. And whereas secondary are like rough and tough, and they are available at cheap cost, and uh, manufacturing and uh, the construction is also rugged. <coughs> So different examples 
for primary or absolute instrument means uh, we have something called as tangent galvanometer and uh, Rayleigh current balance meter meter and uh, absolute electrometer and potentiometer also. So these are some few examples for primary or absolute instruments and secondary instruments what we use in our day to day life. So again we have classified these secondary instruments into three categories indicating, integrating and recording. So what do we mean by integrating? Indicate, indicating. So indicating as the name suggests it indicates the measurement or the quantity which is being measured as a continuous function of time in the sense it gives you it represents the or it indicates the instantaneous value of the quantity under uh, measurement if the current now if you take the example of an ammeter the current now at right now is 2 amperes it shows 2 amperes if the current is changing according to the changes in current it also indicates the current as it is so that is indicating instrument it means it measures measurement in in terms of uh, as a fun continuous function of time so this is indicating instruments and indicating instruments are again two types based on the uh, working principle we have electrical and electronic electronic instruments and one more uh, and some point and one important point need to be noted here is in electrical indicating instruments or electrical measuring instruments the actuating quantity is current and electronic measuring instruments actuating quantity is voltage actuating quantity in the sense the quantity which is responsible for activating this uh, measuring instrument so these are indicating instruments and the examples are ammeters voltmeters wattmeters so and we also have frequency meters power factor meters as well so these are indicating instruments and then we have integrating type of instruments integrating type of instruments in the sense they integrate <coughs> they integrate or they uh, they give or they indicate the cumulative value of the quantity being measured what could be the cumulative value energy simply uh, I can tell energy meters are integrating type of instruments energy meter they integrate or they add up the existing value to the next measured value again uh, the measured value will be adding up to the existing value and then we get a whole uh, total value that is energy uh, example is energy meter that is integrating type of instruments and then uh, uh, we also have something called recording type of instruments recording type of instruments are which indicate as well as they record as they record also. it may or may not indicate but it records on a piece of paper in the form of a graph you might have visited many hospitals many times and uh, you could have found an instrument there called ECG electrocardiogram wherein it uh, on a graph of sheet and a sheet of graph uh, the uh, heart beat uh, signals will be you know, like this will be noted or a graph will be plotted so that is a recording type of instrument similarly by use of recording instruments we can uh, get information about variations in the quantity which is being measured instantaneous values at different instances you can find out what is the value and uh, preferably we use this in substations in substations, there is a vital or there is a pressing need of monitoring the electrical quantities like voltages and current from time to time. So usually substations employ recording type of instruments. The recording type of instrument, they have a moving pointer like this. As a, similarly, in case of indicating instrument, as the quantity is, being, uh, is varying, even the pointer will be uh, moving to and fro. And the pointer will be having... Uh, attach uh, a pen or light pen or pencil kind of thing which will be moving on a gra uh, graph so and the graph will be moving at a constant uniform speed uh, as a function of time and uh, this uh, movement of pointer will plot the variations of the quantity on the graph and this is how recording instruments work Basically.